What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with it back here helping you take your game to the next level. And today I'm back on offense in the Green Bay Packers playbook in the single back tight flex formation once again to give you another great play to run out of this formation. Now I did break down a play out of this last week so I'll link that in the description below if you haven't seen it yet. It's a very very good formation this year not used by much because it's only in the Packers playbook and in the pass balance playbook. A lot of people use custom playbooks, so if that's you in this case, you should definitely add this formation. Very good formation. You know, all tight and compressed formations typically are. This is a is a very good one. It's got a lot of good plays in it. Like I said, I broke down one already, so definitely check that out. Now, I wanted to give you another play to go along with it because, as you know, if you're only running one play out of a formation, a good opponent will adjust to that pretty quickly. So you want to you want to have multiple looks, multiple options to throw at them. So the play I want to break down today is the PA Waggle, another very good play. And it complements the other play we broke down pretty well because the other play we broke down last week uh, pretty much for the most part attacks the left side of the field, whereas this play is going to focus on attacking the right side of the field. So it's an extremely, extremely uh, effective complement to that play. Now, we're going to go against cover two first as always. Now, the setup is very easy for this. We just want to put our Y wide receiver on an in route. And then our B tight end, Ladarius Green over here on the right, we want to put him on a whip route. And that's it. Now, first things first, this corner route to Des Bryant's a very good corner route. It's one of the few deep corner routes in the game that can get behind those cloud flats. So this is going to be very useful against people that run cover two. Especially this is going to be useful against nickel blitz because it's a play action. And it's a play action where the running back is blocking left. So this is going to pick up nickel blitz very well. And I can show you that uh, later on in the video. So this A wide receiver is going to be very crucial, especially against cover twos, which most people run cover twos this year, predominantly because it's just the best coverage in the game this year but there are a lot of ways to absolutely destroy it so that's the first thing I want to look at with this play and we got hit with the block shed <laughs> so we're gonna have to run it again but that's just the uh, that's just practice mode the computer for you they're gonna block shed crazy sometimes so as you can see here a is just running wide we can rack catch this take it in for a touchdown extremely effective way at destroying anybody that wants to sit and cover two run it one more time to show you let me just get this set up and run it one more time to show you it's very consistent about to get hit with the block shed no never mind he got picked up and as you can see again just an easy touchdown nobody's even close to him so this is definitely, like I said, it complements the other play well, but it's it's one of the best ways out of this formation to destroy cover two. So when you're playing people that are running a lot of cover two, you pull out this play, you're going to either get them out of that cover two very quickly or you're going to make them have to change up their adjustments um, because that, that route right there is going to kill them every time. Now also against cover two, we can hit this whip route here. We can rack, catch it, take that upfield. As you can see, you get about seven to eight yards there. That cloud flat is going to try to cover the corner and the whip route. He's not really going to be able to cover either because of the, the distance that they are from each other. He's going to defend the whip route a little bit better. It's going to be a more of a check down read, but still, you're going to get at least five yards on it, and you're good with that every time. And also against cover two, coming across the middle is this in route, which we can also rack catch. You see, that's going to be about in the five to seven yard range as well. So we have two good check downs here that we can absolutely use uh, if, if they're if they're guarding deep and trying to take away our corner route. Now, if we go to a cover three defense here, it's going to be uh, similar. The corner route's not going to be as good, but we're going to still be able to get this off. And what we're going to do is, right when he cuts, we're going to throw this bullet pass lead, and we're going to go for the aggressive catch. That's going to give us the little sideways jump animation there. If we go for a possession catch there or a rack catch, the... Uh, the cornerback is going to be able to, you know, maybe swat the ball or go for an interception, and we don't want that. We want to be able to catch the ball and get down. So I'm going to run it one more time just to show you. Right when he cuts, we want to pass lead it to the sideline, go for that aggressive catch. He's going to jump sideways, and as you can see, it's still about a 20-yard gain. So even against cover three, a lot of people might do that. They might try to switch to a cover three to stop that corner out, but we can still get it off. Now, also against cover three, we can, again, We'll be able to rack catch this uh, whip route here, take it upfield, and as you can see, about 9 to 10 yards, you're going to get a bigger gain out of that against cover 3. The in route against cover 3 typically isn't going to work. Uh, it depends on the cover 3. It might work against some of them, like if they're running a cover 3 Mabel or something like that. But basically, 
the zone over there is going to kind of have to choose between the whip route and the in route and that defender typically is going to play a little more aggressively on the in route as I'm going to show you right here that was just a terrible throw we'll run that one more time but you're going to see he's going to uh, be in better position to defend the in route than he is the whip route so if you notice a cover three shell typically see what I'm saying like you're still going to give up four to five yards there it's not it's not a bad gain, but it, it, it's just a little bit of a tighter window, and you kind of open yourself up to possibly getting hit-sticked a little bit more there. So that's why I typically, if I see cover three, I'm just kind of focusing on the right side of the field, either the corner or the whip route, you know, dump it off to either of them. Now, but you can still hit the end route, I said, against a lot of cover threes, but just know it's going to be a tighter window, and, you know, potentially you could get hit-sticked. Now, against man defense, it's also a great play against man Against man defense, this is when we can take advantage of this post route because if you, you want a good receiver here, obviously we have Antonio Brown there. You want your best receiver here just for the fact that he's going to get off the press a lot easier. And when a post route gets pressed and releases to the inside, it creates great separation. I'm going to show you that right now. As you can see, right when he gets to the inside, we bullet pass it, and it's just a huge gain for us. Um, we did rack catch it there, but you can, uh, if you want to be safer, you can possession catch that which I'll show you right here, but you're going to see he's going to release to the inside. As soon as he cuts, you just want to bullet pass it, and if you want to you know, avoid the big hits and ensure that you hold on to the ball, definitely go for that uh, that possession catch. As you can see, just you just want to throw a bullet. You don't have to pass lead it or anything like that. Just throw the bullet as soon as he makes the cut, and if you have a good route runner, you, know, you want your best route runner, your best guy that beats press there, because that's going to be a huge gain if they try to go man on you. And then we have the in route, of course, which is unbumpable against man, and you know the play action on this is good because it has us rolling out to the side of that in route. So, it, it, I mean, it also has us rolling out to the same side as the corner route, the whip route. So all those routes we're able to kind of throw, you know, on the run. And it, it it's just we get to there. He kind of went down. I was trying to rack catch it, but he went down. But you're rolling out to the side. So you kind of have a little bit more momentum in your throw, too, and that helps you. The whip route, um, if you have a really good tight end there, the whip route will beat man. Um, the Darius Green is fast, but he's not the best route runner or the best tight end, so he's not going to be as effective against, you know, an elite cornerback there against man. But if you have a guy like a Greg Olson or a Gronkowski, you're going to have a little bit more separation against man with the whip route, and that'll be an option for you as well. Now, quickly, I want to show this against Nickel Blitz because, obviously, um, you're going to get hit with Nickel Blitz a lot if you're playing online. And compressed formations like, you know, gun tight, gun snug, single back tight, tight flex these formations are very hard to block nickel blitz out of and that's why a lot of people have kind of gotten away from some of them you know there are ways to block it but it's it's very hard to block that slot cornerback with these tight formations unless you're using a play action um otherwise you really have to get the ball off pretty quickly now this is a play action play of course so this is one of the things we can definitely go to if someone wants to run nickel blitz on us and you're gonna see it's gonna pick it up and then we have all day here and then that's just an easy touchdown so if someone is running nickel blitz on you this play is a great go-to it's gonna be money for you it's gonna be something that is going to work pretty much every time against nickel blitz and you're gonna be able to pop them for a huge game because most people they come out run nickel blitz and they're just kinda of mindless with it you know there's very few players that actually adjust with it well they just kinda of come out and they're just expecting the immediate pressure they're expecting just to pop you but you pull out this play and you have other plays in the scheme that are good as well um, if you pull out this play you have no worries about getting sacked you know you're gonna have absolutely all day to throw now one last thing I want to show with this play because it is a play action I want to show the run that complements this play and it's one of my favorite runs in the game this year uh, not this particular run but the style of run it's the halfback dive but it's a it's a weak dive it's more of a zone weak uh, halfback dive and and these are just really good runs this year you know you don't want to jam on turbo you want to just you know take the ball try to hit the hole and uh, you hit you hit turbo once you're in the open field you don't want to hit it too quickly because then they're going to block shed but it's a very safe four to five yard gain against uh you know a typical defense now if the box is just completely stacked of course yeah you don't want to run this if the box is stacked but if they're you know they're in a pass defense because this is a pass formation you want to pull this out and use it because it's gonna it's gonna help you when it comes time for the play action because 
when you're using a lot of play action, you want to be using the run at least a decent amount as well. So you just one more thing to keep your opponent on their heels. They they have to respect the run, but if you hit them with the play action, you know that's gonna it's gonna make it harder for them to use her like that deep corner route, for example, if they have to hesitate for that split second because you might be running the ball. So. Definitely use the run with this because it's going to make it better. Check out the other video in the description because it complements this play very well. I may actually break down one more play out of this. I'm not sure yet, uh, so just stay tuned for that. But if you don't have this uh, formation in your custom playbook, definitely put it in because it's very useful. And it'll definitely be something your opponents haven't seen too often this year. Help you move the ball more, help you put up more points. Now, if you enjoyed this video, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.